Yes, for us who are still uh, continuing on fasting and praying concerning the upcoming event by God's servant, Pastor Benihin, uh, the question is, how do you heal a nation? And I have a simple answer. You touch three places. You touch the rulership, i.e. the government, and beginning with the top, you touch the economy of that nation. Yeah, the Bible tells us uh, borrowers are servant to the lender. So if you touch the, the economy, you are healing us from servanthood. And in Kenya, it may not just be servanthood, it may be actual healing from slavery. And then finally, and I'm not giving them in order, but the, all three are important, you touch the body of Christ, the church, in that land. Yeah, that is how you heal a nation. So going by that theme, I believe it is a God-given theme. As I was praying, the Lord told me that he can speak a word uh, in private and in public uh, to both President Ruto and to the rest of the government. He can also confirm uh, the word uh, that has already gone forth, the prophetic word to Honorable Kalonzo. And that confirmation can come both in, in private and in public. You know there are things that may not be prudent to be said in public. And God can give, him a, can give his servant a word of knowledge, deep revelation, that when he speaks them to these our leaders and to others who have, may not have mentioned, that they will know for sure it is God who has sent him. So as we pray, let us pray that one. And as far as touching the government, there are several aspects. Number one, uh, we, I think which is critical for us in Kenya right now, is to give a direction, to give strength, to give, you know, to, to impact, let me call it like that, to impact our handling of the issues of state capture and corruption. You know, if we deal with state capture and corruption, uh, and by the way, I believe it is a key, that 11 plus trillion shilling uh, borrowing that Kenya is under, it can be removed even in a single day. But I don't want to go into politics, see links in, in this description. Um, that alone can change the fate of this nation. May God deal with it. Yeah? He can speak a word to our parliament that it becomes an active parliament. Yeah, and does not oversee illegality, and, and, and so on and so forth. He can also speak a word uh, to his body here uh, in the country, and again also in private and in, in public. Actually, I'm hearing that just now, that he can speak to the body of Christ, to our leadership in private and in public. As I've said, there are things which are not prudent to be said in public. Yeah? But uh, in Kenya, as a body, we need uh, actual unity of the body of Christ. Jesus said a, a, a house divided itself against itself will not stand. And Kenya has a serious assignment in the marketplace to inspire other nations to work towards Israel's full inheritance. Yeah. So we need, we need unity both as a nation and even as a church, as an entire church. We need to be correctly aligned into God's purposes for ourselves. Yeah, what does scripture say about Kenya? Yeah, just imagine, I, ask, I, I actually have started going around asking believers, what is God's assignment for Kenya? What do you know it is? If you don't know God's assignment for Kenya, how are you then correctly aligning your own personal assignment if you don't know that one of your nation? If your church and yourself have not worked that out from scripture, then there's a big part uh, that is at risk because you are not correctly aware or aligned to what God is doing and God's purpose in this time. Yeah. Again, uh, there is the Zechariah chapter 3 verse 8 to 10. It is our prayer 
that God will put that stone in front of Joshua and Joshua represents the government and the church leadership. That stone needs to be picked out and placed in front of them so that God can remove the iniquity of this land in that single day. Yeah. And remember, I, I have said this before, Isaiah 18, while it is Kenya's assignment, that assignment is not given to the people, it is given to the land of Kenya. It is the land that sends ambassadors, verse 2, Isaiah 18, verse 2. Yeah, the reference is not to the people, the reference is to the land sending. So the blessing is upon the land. And if the iniquity, for example, LGBTQ, which we, are, we know uh, defiles the land, according to scripture, it defiles the land. So even if they don't, provided somebody stands up and announces that, it is defiling our land. Iniquity needs to be removed. Yeah? And be, for that to happen, a stone must be placed in front of Joshua, Zechariah 3. So in this meeting, we can have God picking through his servant, God starting to establish that stone, for example. Yeah. Finally, uh, the final point for now, and continue on praying and sharing revelation and what God is saying to you. There are many uh, servants of God that God wants to raise in this season. Some of them previously unknown. There is a great opportunity in the visitation of God's prophet for an impartation, for an impartation of grace, of, of, of power of the, of, of the Most High God, of the Holy Spirit upon you. There is a great opportunity even for announcement of some of you to the world. Yeah, you see people like, uh, and, and you may say, oh, me, I've been practicing. Look, read your Bible. Isaiah, from Isaiah chapter 1 to chapter 5, I, Isaiah was operating at a lower level. Because when you go to Isaiah chapter 6, that's when Isaiah is telling God, here I am, send me. Yeah. So imagine, five chapters already he has delivered. And then in chapter 6 is when he's saying, send me. Yeah, so many of you are like that. Yeah, that, that you have been operating in God, you have been growing, He has been teaching you, training you. This is a great opportunity, the visitation of Pastor Benny Hinn, for you to be imparted, to be sent off the same way a, a Isaiah was commissioned in Isaiah chapter 6. It is your opportunity. Pick it, pick it in prayer, claim it. Don't worry how it will happen. Yeah? Even if you can't be there physically, turn on the TV, turn on the radio. See the video when you, whenever you will see it. Claim it for yourself. You know yourself there. God has been preparing you. Claim it. Yeah? Tell God, let, let cause, tell God that Usikubali, don't let your servant come and live without speaking a word for me. Without releasing an impartation for me. Is the opportunity. Do not be deceived by the enemy making arguments against this meeting. Let me stop there for now. I wasn't even intending to come. I just felt this very heavily on my spirit. Kindly claim these things. Let, let God touch our nation and heal it. Let him touch the government. Let him touch our economy. Yeah? This economy, we, 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 we want people with ideas and I believe they are there with, with sharp ideas. Yeah, and I know there are many, but even if we get one or two or three, yeah, they, they can literally change our economy. J just imagine uh, the, the man who came with the idea of M-Pesa and how that has impacted Kenya's economy. Can you imagine if we get uh, three, four, five, ten ideas of that level? Yeah, not necessarily in, in digital, you know, uh, in, in digital finance. God, I don't know, God, God is, is wonderful. He's, he, I, I can't phantom. Yeah, but he's spoken to each one of you. You know you are listening to me now. You know God has given you an idea. Just imagine if those ideas are, are able to be brought into our economy, into market properly to benefit this nation, how that would affect our economy. We would literally be getting delivered from a slave master of the one world order, of the Babylon system. 
Yeah. So take this opportunity, claim as I've said, whether on TV, whether in person, if you can go to Nyar Stadium, go. Let us flood that place, let us overflow it. If you're far or if you're, you know for other reason you are not able to make it, turn on your TV. And if you're there from media, various medias, make sure you're covering 24-7. God is going to do something in this season. I have already told you uh, Kenya is the spiritual fig tree of Luke 21 verse 29 to 36. Kenya is a spiritual fig tree. And this process beginning with the visitation of Pastor Benny Hinn, God's servant, is the kicking off of the second sprouting of the leaves. A fig tree sprouts leaves twice. So when Jesus said, in, when you see the fig tree sprout, in that generation will not pass. It is your generation if we will allow Kenya to sprout its leaves a second time. The first time was in independence. Sitaki Kwendelea Zaidi, God bless you. Keep praying. Fast if you have to fast. Yeah? If whether you go there or don't go there. Fast as he's speaking. Be praying. Be claiming. Put on the TV as he's saying. Yeah? If he's praying for people, let them be healed. Yeah? And by the way, if you're out there and you're sick, go. Yeah, there, there is grace upon that servant of God. Go there. Say, tell God, I want to be a part of this. Let my testimony be one of the proofs that this your servant is sent of God. And see what God does. Until next time, God bless you. Shalom, shalom. See you.